Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Hope everyone had a beautiful, beautiful Yantiv. I wanted to wish everyone a Gemara Chasim Atova Baruch Hashem. We had a phenomenally inspiring and uplifting Yantiv in Yeshiva. And I wanted to share a thought that is very relevant to the days that we find ourselves in right now. And we are told the Gemara Masechus Rosh Hashanah tells us on Dav Tes Zion, Tes Vav Tes Zion, that there are three books that are open this time of year. There is the book of Rishaim Gemurim, there's the book of Tzadikim Gemurim, and there's the book of Benonim. And a person who's a Tzadik Gomer is immediately on Rosh Hashanah, destined L'chaim, and his din is sealed. And the Rosh Hashanah is destined to the opposite, and his din is sealed. And the Benonim, the middle people, they are in this waiting period to get to Yom Kippurim, and then on Yom Kippur, their din is sealed as well. And the Mepharsh bothered exactly how do we weigh all these mitzvot? How do we weigh who's a Tzadik Gomer, who is a Rasha, etc.? And Tosas on the spot, the Rambam seems to allude to this also in Paragimel of Hilchos Tshuva, is that you calculate, literally calculate mitzvahs against Averis. More mitzvahs, Zakai. More Averis, Chayev. And equal, Baini Baini, exactly the same, then you're a Bainoni which would mean, if this is true, that Yom Kippur is not relevant for most of us. Most of us will either fall into the Russia category, Rachman al or in the Tzadik category. Benoni, exactly equal mitzvahs and averos, very few. How's that going to happen? It's a, it's, a, it's a strange idea, but that would mean that Yom Kippur is going to be not so relevant for so many people. And can that possibly be the case? So perhaps... The Pshat and the Gemara is a little different. The Pshat and the Gemara is not addressing a statistical analysis. After all, we don't even know Matan Schar and Shal Mitzvahs, Pirkei Avos tells us. Some mitzvahs are more weighty, some are less. We don't really know. How do we go ahead and assess this? So as we all know, the Bal Hatanya and others farm indicate that at Tzadik Gomer, that's a very, very rarefied air. To be in the world of Tzadik Gomer is only the unique, the most unique people, the highest of levels, where a person doesn't sin at all. That's very, very unique. It's a very small category of Tzadik Gomer. Rasha Gomer, also someone who's Kula Ra, is Kula Rasha. That's also very rare. The most people, most people are categorized as Benonim, is that we have our ups and downs, we have our successes and failures. Sometimes we're feeling more connected, sometimes less. Sometimes we slip, sometimes we rise. That's most people. That's most people's Avodah Hashem. The Rambam says it cannot be just a statistical analysis because then... I would just do more mitzvahs, but the Rambam writes Hilchos Tshuva, it's not just about any mitzvah this time of year. It's about the mitzvah of Tshuva. The mitzvah of Tshuva is the mitzvah that is the mitzvah at hand, and that's what tips the scale. And perhaps the idea is, is that these 10 days, most of the world, we're benonim. That's how we are. We have our ups and downs, as mentioned. So what's the mission here? The mission here is, what direction are we pointing in? When we do tshuva, we are establishing where our vector lies. A vector, high school physics, a vector is a directional force. Where is our directional force? Where are we trending? What is our momentum? Where are we? Where are our eyes pointed to? If our eyes are pointed downwards to the muck, hmm, so then, yeah, we're not going to end up in the right place. But if we're doing tshuva, our eyes are pointed heavenly. We are heavenly bound. We are connected to Hashem. We want to be connected. We're yearning for that sense of connection. So that's, then, yes, indeed, then we have the opportunity to use these 10 days to become tzaddikim, to go ahead and be nechtam to the book of life. The Nesiva Shalom writes in his piece on Rosh Hashanah, the Gemara doesn't tell us who these books are open in front of. We assume, based on the tefillahs that we say, we assume, yes, these books are in front of, open in front of Hashem, Sifre Chaim, Sifre Mesim, Psuchim Lefanecha, that they're open to Hashem. But the Nesil Shalom writes that, you know who's signing these books? Where we're Benonim, and we're signing the books. We're establishing on these 10 days where we belong, where our destiny lies, where we should be placed. Are we destined for the Sefer Chaim? Because our mission, our vector is towards being a tzaddik, directed to Hashem, or Rachman al on the opposite. We have the opportunity in these extraordinarily special seven days in between Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, to go and take advantage on this Shabbat Shuvah, to take advantage, to sign our names in the Book of Life. May we be Zochet, to really have a meaningful Aser Shemei Tshuva, an incredibly uplifting Yom Kippur, so we can be Zochet, to have a Gemar Vechasim Tova.